Hi everyone, on this video from Count Backwards from 10, we're going to be taking a quick look at what happens when you add epinephrine or decadron to local anesthetics. You may have seen my other video on adding bicarbonate to local anesthetics. It's a bit longer and it's a little more involved because there's a lot of biochemistry involved. Uh, this one is going to be pretty quick. So let's get started. First, we're going to take a look at epinephrine, which we should know is a catecholamine. And what it does is it is an alpha 1 and 2 and a beta 1 and 2 agonist. So in order to understand this, we need to know what these different receptors do. But in this case specifically, the alpha 1 agonism is going to be pretty important because alpha 1 agonism leads to very potent vasoconstriction. The smaller a blood vessel is, the less blood flow there is to that region as a function of decreased flow rate because of increased in resistance. If you're not familiar, I do recommend going and looking at my video on Pusell's Law. I can't pronounce his name. I apologize. That explains how flow rate works and what factors change it. The narrower a blood vessel, the higher the resistance, the less blood flow. Now, there are two types of local anesthetics. There are our esters, which you should hopefully know, or in case it helps now, esters only have one eye in them. So things like cocaine are esters, and these are metabolized by plasma cholinesterases. And we have our amides, and our amides have two eyes, amides, two eyes, and these are broken down in the liver. Notice both of these require that the local anesthetic gets back into the blood. Well, as you vasoconstrict the blood vessels, it makes it harder for the local anesthetic to get back into the blood and as a result back to either the liver or to come in contact with the plasma esterases. So, the take home message, if you remember nothing else, is that adding epinephrine does two things. It increases the dose you can give. So, for example, in lidocaine, normally you can give 5 milligrams per kilogram, but you can go to 7 because the venoconstriction prevents most of it from going into the blood as quickly because there's less flow. So, it increases your allowable dose and it makes it last longer. Again, the same reason. Less blood flow means that less of the local anesthetic is taken away from the region where you want it to work slower. Now, the mechanism of action of decadron is a little bit more nebulous in that decadron and steroids in general are anti-inflammatories. The reason these two are grouped together in this video and why narcotics, which will be discussed very quickly in another video, is that the thought process is that as you introduce an anti-inflammatory into a region like decadron, you lead to vasoconstriction which would lead to a similar effect to that of epinephrine. Now, the thought is that this is mediated through preventing inflammation. When you have inflammation, it's usually a result of infection and your blood vessels leak. And the point is to try and get neutrophils in your immune system to that site to fight whatever is going on or whatever damage is there. And so when you have steroids, they prevent that inflammatory response, leading to prevention of leaking of vessels and uh, dilation of blood vessels. And so when you add decadron, you can get a massive increase in length of action of your local anesthetic. Now, we'll review in another video, there is a list of sites that get taken up quicker from fastest to slowest. And depending on what kind of block you have, epidural, spinal, whatever it is, Sometimes adding some decadron to a peripheral block can make it last for days at a time. So the reason these two are together is that they're really both going to increase your length of action of your block, almost by similar mechanisms. 
And obviously, there are two different additives that you can add to your local anesthetic. As I mentioned before, there's another video on adding bicarbonate to your local anesthetic. And we'll have one more about adding narcotics. So again, if you take nothing else from this six-minute video, it's that epinephrine and decadron both lead to longer lasting blocks and epinephrine actually allows you to increase the given dose. That's all for adding epinephrine or decadron to local anesthetics. As always, if you have any questions or concerns, please feel free to write in. If you'd like to get involved, we'd love to hear from you. Check us out on Instagram or subscribe below.